Hi everyone, thank you for joining us again this month for Welcome Home. I'm Rachel Holder with Compass Real Estate, bringing you valuable real estate advice and home tips each month right here. Today we've got a great show lined up all about functional spaces, from a playroom that appeals to all ages, to a unique co-working space and home organizing. We've got you covered. Welcome Home starts right now. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Welcome Home with Rachel Holder. When it comes to functional spaces, busy mom of seven, Jenny Rymold, knows a thing or two. We recently got to stop by her Brentwood home to see her designer playroom that she lovingly calls the Kid Lounge, a space that appeals to her two-year-old and her teenager alike. Take a look. Jenny Rymold, thank you for being on the show. You are, goodness, mom of seven, Insta influencer, interior design guru, I, I wear, wear a lot of hats. A lot of or different hats. hats. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're in your home in Franklin, Tennessee, and we're talking about functional spaces because that's one thing that you do really, really well out of necessity, right? With right. Seven kids. I have seven children. Right now they're ages three to 18. So in creating rooms like our kids' lounge, um, I have to design a space that meets the needs of teenagers to toddlers. I love that you call it a kids' lounge and not a playroom. Um, and tell me about that. You did that. That really for your teenagers which I love. Right because when we moved here I had an infant and I had kids who were just starting in high school and I had to create a space that was engaging enough for small children and small toddlers but I had to have a space that was cool enough for my teenagers to have movie nights in so that's where it developed into the kids lounge rather than a playroom. I love that idea. Let's start from the very beginning <laughs> and talk about kind of what this space was before and what it is now. Right so when we moved here two and a half years ago um, a builder had started the remodeling process in this home after it had been abandoned for many many years and so then we came in and finished the back half of the remodeling and Property Brothers came calling and asked if they could use our home for a dream home segment of the show. And so that's kind of what started the ball rolling in terms of design and influencing. It was right after we moved to Franklin. Well, and I think that's a great question, sort of as an aside, but I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, how do you go from mom of seven kids trying to create a functional space to 37,000, whatever it is, you know, Instagram followers and, right. and becoming an influencer and that sort of thing. So that was the catalyst and for that, all of it. And it was totally on accident. I really joined Instagram to spy on my teenage daughter. I'm mm -hmm. very honest about that. I love and it. I think I was just showing the everyday life of a mom of seven children who was trying to create a beautiful home. And that's kind of where it snowballed. And I think being honest in showing everyday life, like my house doesn't always look like this. It usually has toys and kids screaming, but people can relate to that. So I think it works. And I think it is really relatable. And, and I was telling you, you know, it, it's inspired me because I need a place <laughs> to put my children right. at my house. So I think people can look at it and, and, and get some great ideas. Right. Let's talk about the functionality of this space in particular because you had a lot of different needs yes. that you needed to meet. So when we moved into the space it was one gigantic bonus room and so we didn't need a huge bonus room. We needed an extra bedroom, we needed an extra bathroom, and we needed a play space. So what we did is we converted one third of that room to a very small tiny guest room and a bathroom and then the rest of it became the kids lounge. You talk about centers a lot which I think is, is a great way to do it but you talk about not making it look like a preschool right but having designated areas tell me about some of the designated areas in the room and, and kind of that age and purpose that they serve so we first started with the seating area so that the teenagers could watch movies kids could read if they wanted to do their homework in a quiet space the seating is you know, kind of paramount to kind of that foundation of the room and then we created a craft corner a pretend play corner we have a corner where we keep some of the larger toys but those can also be later transitioned into bigger craft tables where maybe kids can do big school projects as they become older. So just making sure that your spaces develop with the children as they age is really important. One thing that I love about you in terms of both functionality and design is when you give us ideas, you'll say it's from Amazon, it's from Home Goods. Yes, you know, it's, yes. They're very attainable right. sort of things. Well, because when you have seven children, I assume things are going to get ruined, but I still want beautiful things, so I try to make them practical. So, like, Home Goods is always my go to for kind of everyday, easy, beautiful pieces that are inexpensive but still look great. What are some of your favorite things? 
things or pieces or features in this room that you're like, that was a good get? Um, I love the rug because it's this, you know, has polka dots and bright colors and things. You can't do that in every area of your home. So I love that. I love the playhouse. We took a cedar playhouse. We painted it. My husband and my kids and my father actually all came together to build the playhouse and paint it white and aqua and all these beautiful colors. And that became kind of the focal point in the room. And it's really important because family built it. And then I also love um, the artwork because we don't have any commercialized artwork. The only artwork we have are pieces made by my children in school or pieces that I had them paint specifically for the art room so for the room so all of the art is done by my children I love how you involve and I guess with seven kids you kind of have to yeah, right, right. But I love how <laughs> yeah. you involve them yeah. in every aspect of your home from the design to you created a place for them in your home gym which we're going to talk about later yeah. um, tell me about you had a really good tip about the artwork oh. in your room and and sort of how you guide them but yes. let them still be creative right and so for a $25 wall art project, you take blank canvases and you only give them the colors that are in your color scheme of the room. So for our room, they only got, you know, pinks and aquas and pastels because if your room is not dark and you give them brown and black and some of these darker colors, you're going to have a big mess. And so it was great. So they, and they love it. And so now they see their gallery hanging on the wall, but it was kind of intentionally crafted for the look. I, I love too that your, your rooms are, um, it, it's easy to do. Yes. You, you don't have a contractor come no. in and do a huge no. amount of demo and add walls and take out walls and that sort of thing. You do things that the average person could do in a weekend. Right. And I right? say we are not crafty people. I'm a creative person, but we are not handymen. And so a lot of what we do is peel and stick. A lot is with paint, peel and stick wallpaper, kids art rugs to cover things you may not like. So it's just, it's the everyday project for anybody to do. I love that. In, in terms of um, being more than just a pretty space to look at, right. you're really a resource for a lot of folks. You know, if they're thinking, I can do this, I need to create a space for my kids, you know, how do I do it, and that sort of thing. So tell me exactly where can people find you okay. and find, you know, all your ideas. Yeah, I, I, Jenny Reimold um, on Instagram, at Jenny Reimold, it's R-E-I-M-O-L-D. Um, I have highlights of a lot of my projects. I have things that have been featured on HGTV and House Beautiful, so I highlight a lot of those. But I always keep the steps um, in there as well as where people can find them on the links. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Appreciate you. it. Well, again, you can find all of Jenny's home and design tips, plus lots more on everything from fashion to family on Instagram at Jenny Reimold. When we come back, we'll take a look at co-working spaces that are just so very Nashville. Stay tuned.